Hello, my name is Karen Humphrey and I'm the Marketing and Communications Manager for PLX. Today I will be talking to you about the monolithic invariant optical assemblies and the applications that we've used them for. Just a little bit about PLX. We were founded in 1955, producing highly accurate optical domes, lenses, prisms, mirrors. The invention of our hollow retro reflector in 1970 really set us on the path to working with space and military companies. In 2000, the invention of the monolithic optical structure technology was really the next evolution for us in photonics. And this is what I'm going to be concentrating on for the rest of this presentation. Last year saw the acquisition of reflex imaging and the creation of our active optics department. This department will be focusing on integrating MEM scanning technology into our existing portfolio and more importantly into the monolithic optical structure technology. I will talk a little bit about this towards the end of our, this presentation. So what do we do? From a basic point of view, we manipulate light. However, our strength as a company lies in innovation and customization. We take basic optical elements such as lenses and mirrors and transform them, evolving them into invariant structures. We have then combined these into monolithic optical structures suitable of withstanding any environment with sub-arc second accuracy. This makes our product suitable for, for a wide range of applications, as you can see here. Today, I'm going to be focusing on optical delay lines, bore sighting and telescope alignment. So let's look at the basic of mono, monolithic structures. A monolithic structure basically includes multiple optical elements into one structure. This could be basic optical elements such as mirrors or prisms or lenses, or it could be more invariant elements such as retro reflectors. The patent technology that we use at PLX is called the Monolithic Optical Structure Technology, or MOST. The best analogy for our MOST system is that it is the Swiss Army knife, really, of optics. It is a cost effective, plug and play, efficient time saver, which makes it a versatile one stop solution for complex optical problems. What makes it really unique is the integration of multiple types of glass with other exotic CTE matched materials, such as fused silica or low expansion borosilicate. This creates a lightweight structure that provides superb optical stability in a small form factor assembly with robust sub arc second performance. This has minimal variations of optical specification to large thermal vibration and shock conditions compared to conventional systems. This has really made the most invaluable for military and space projects where shock, vibration and temperature resistance are really critical. So let's look, have a look at bore sighting. Bore sighting refers to the procedure of aligning hardware line of sight to an aiming device or to the co-alignment of two or more optical axes, such as a laser and an imaging system. In military and aerospace terms, this can apply to applications such as weaponry, artillery, fire control systems, or something like a long range camera mounted on a satellite. Here are a couple of examples that we have created at PLX. Figure one shows a system that would be suitable for a long range camera, which must be aligned to a laser designator. The camera and the laser could be mounted on a turret. For the purpose of bore sighting, the turret would have a predetermined position that enables the laser and the camera system to view the laser target through the bore sighting system, which in this case is a periscope with a beam splitter. The camera focusing on a crosshair must display the focus dot from the laser on the crosshair. 
The laser is then mechanically or electronically adjusted to bring the laser dot to the centre of the crosshair. The camera captures a larger field of view than is displayed and the camera readout is adjusted to bring the laser dot to the centre of the display. The second figure shows a more traditional bore sighting procedure between a gun barrel and a gun sight. A unique version of PLX's lateral transfer hollow retro reflectors shows the retro reflector equipped with a 50-50 beam splitter on the flat mirror side that is used. The lateral transfer hollow retro reflector is mounted such that the user can simultaneously view the crosshair from the collimator and the crosshair in the gun sight. To get the two gun sight, uh, sorry, to get the two crosshairs to coincide with each other, the gun sight would be tilted mechanically, but needs high resolution mechanical device to get a perfect alignment. A more complex example is the Arrowhead targeting system that was designed in collaboration with Lockheed Martin for the Apache helicopter. What makes this system different is that the pilot and targeting systems can operate simultaneously. This targeting system is divided into two parts. Here in the schematic, you can see the modernized night sensor assembly and the modernized day sensor assembly. This was achieved using two lateral transfer hollow retro reflectors, which were incorporated into one monolithic optical structure. This provided two main benefits. Utilizing the most technology made this system very compact. Therefore, in-flight bore sighting can be performed in situ for real-time calibration of the fire control system, which enables detection of any mechanical errors due to drift from the cameras in the vehicle. This is only achievable due to the invariant nature of the design, which means pointing of the beams through the lateral transfer hollow retro reflectors is not affected by the inherent vibration of the helicopter. This also enhances the accuracy of the fire control system and considerably reduces the repair cycle. The other main benefit, which is inherent in the um, design of the most technology is that the module also never needs to be removed for its own calibration. Let's have a look at how we have utilized the most technology within optical delay lines. Light manipulation has become critical for a variety of scientific measurements and many different industries now use light to characterize properties of a material or a system. These measurements often involve light delay or light interference, and this is what we um, refer to as optical delay lines. The image here is a simple optical delay line where rather than using individual mirrors, we at PLX would manipulate this light using retro reflectors. Using invariant optics ensures that the system is constantly aligned and prevents the beam wandering along the optical axis as the retro reflector is translated to vary the delay. The PLX interferometer is a good example of a simple optical delay line incorporating monolithic optical structure technology. Because we are using the most, we can guarantee shock and vibration resistance with sub-arc second accuracy. Two mirrors, a beam splitter and a compensator are all assembled and permanently aligned in a sandwich structure. And a moving retro reflector is then added to complete the design of the interferometer. This combination of most interferometer and retro reflector provides a plug and play solution that simplifies integration into higher assemblies. The monolithic interferometer has great thermal stability with a thermal for performance dependency of less than 0.5% degrees Celsius. The PLX INTO5 N series is especially suited for the most demanding near infrared analysis applications, whereas the INT 10M series is more suited for Fourier transform infrared machine architecture and for applications such as spectral analysis.
The last area that I'll talk about where we have used the monolithic optical structure technology is within telescope alignment systems. PLX has a long history of working with space agencies, as I mentioned in my introductory slides. The stability of the monolithic optical structure technology and its ability to withstand extreme operating conditions, such as extreme temperature, make it really ideal for the use in space exploration. One example of this is the ISAT-2 Atlas satellite, where we worked in collaboration with Ball Aerospace to develop the Laser Reference System, or LRS. This consisted of two lateral transfer hollow retro reflectors, which make up the alignment monitoring and control system. These are used to keep the laser and receiving telescope bore sighted to each other during orbit. So how does this work? One of the two lateral transfer hollow retro reflectors collects light from four laser spots known as TAMs or telescope alignment and monitoring system. The retro reflector then directs the light to the LRS camera. The second lateral transfer hollow retro reflector samples a portion of the laser beams that have been directed to Earth and bends this light into the same LRS camera. This way, the system knows as it tracks the four spots exactly where the telescope is pointing. For more information on the ISAT 2 satellite, please come and view our video on YouTube. So, what is the future for PLX? As I've mentioned, manipulating light is the essence of what we do. Our products are the Lego of optics, the building blocks in which to create the next generation of optical technology. The MOS system will continue to be at the forefront of photonics projects due to its superb stability and high sub arc second accuracy. We have recently produced this latest assembly, which doesn't just hold one invariant optical structures as previous most assemblies have, but combines multiple invariant assemblies into one monolithic structure, which will make these assemblies more stable and accurate. This year, we will also utilize the MEMS technology and expertise combined with the MOST to develop a laser range finder. This tracking laser range finder will be capable of tracking drones at high speeds with high accuracy and low latency. And our current research is showing a latency of less than two milliseconds. We'll be talking more about our tracking laser range finder at SBIE Defence. So please come along and listen to our um, presentation. Thank you for listening to my presentation. And if you have more information, please come along to our website at www.plxinc.com where you can download multiple um, white papers on our monolithic optical structure technology or feel free to contact me um, or contact us through the website. Thank you very much.